Hello guys, Manu from Geekception here and today I shall be doing a quick hands-on and first impressions of the Lego Shark 1. Let's begin. And this is a quick hands-on of the Lego Shark 1. Now before I give you guys my first impressions, let me take a quick hardware tour. Now looking at the front there is a 6 inch full HD display. Going up top there is just a camera, a flash and a speaker there and the sensors there. Going down there because it has no hardware buttons, it's just the software buttons. Going on to the right side of the device is the power up, uh, power up button and the volume up and volume down button. Going on to the left side of the device is the uh, SD card slot and the SIM card slot. Going on to the top of the device is a 3.5mm headphone jack and a microphone port there. Going down there is just the micro USB port and another microphone. Going on to the back there is the 13 megapixel f2.0 BSI which stands for backside illumination camera with flash there. I cannot believe I remember that. And the fingerprint scanner which uh, Lego calls the ID 3.0. And then on the back there in the middle is just Lego logo. Going uh, down there at the back is the speakers and that's basically been it for a quick hardware tour of the device. Now, taking a look around the device here, as you guys can see, going through the interface, this is Lego's OS 2.1 or 1.2. I'm not really sure I shall be flashing it on screen right now. And something I actually uh, uh, see right off the bat is that this actually re re resembles uh, uh, Huawei's uh, EMUI, if you guys have actually seen any of my Huawei video. So that's something I actually had to point to you guys immediately I saw this. It screams EMUI and actually going into the power saver here, I shall be putting the, the B-roll of the uh, both phone side by side. You can see it's almost identical. Now looking at the interface itself, it's not bad. It's like a mixture between EMUI and stock Android as you guys can see in the elements there. Swiping down there in the launcher. Now going into the settings here, um, I'm just going to be going into about phone and seeing the Android version there. And it's Android 4.1, why? Why? There's Android 6. Anyways, apart from geek, uh, geeks like me, people, normal people would actually not really care, but it would have been nice anyways if they actually uh, upgraded it to Android 6. Now, going, uh, uh, taking a look around the phone there, you guys can see that at its thickest, it's actually 8.5 millimeters, and that is a work of art. When you look at the fact that this phone has a 6,300 milliampere battery, so that is huge. For heavy users like me, definitely I'll be getting more than two days of usage on this phone. So that is a really, really big thing here. Another thing here is the fact that uh, when you look at the price, for about only 999 ringgit or about 250-ish dollars, this is a really good deal, at least for the battery and for uh, uh, all the other things here. But let me look at the camera there. And let me just try to take a photo there and let me see how fast it, it uh, manages to shutter. And it's not as fast as I would like and it, there's a kind of a little lag there. And I cannot really tell for the sharpness here, but definitely when I get a review unit, if I'm getting a review unit, I'll be doing the test for you guys. And that's basically been it for a quick hands-on and a uh, uh, quick first impressions. Well, okay, th that's just the hands-on. What was my first impression? Well, I would say, oh yeah, I almost forgot the fingerprint sensor on the back there. So let me just go home there. Let me go to the fingerprint there. One, two, three, four is the pin. Let's try to add a fingerprint and let's see how fast it actually adds a new fingerprint and let's see how fast it actually recognizes it. So let me just go to fingerprint there. Press your hand on it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven eight nine nine okay it, it took nine and let me just you know put my f finger on it and it's not recognizing boom unlocked okay so let me do that one more time okay this is taking a bit uh, a, a, takes a bit getting used to. Why? Because as you guys can see here, the main problem uh, I have with the fingerprint sensor of this phone is not really the fact that it's not fast enough. It's that if you look at the Mate 8, which uh, I also have here, you can see that the fingerprint sensor there, sorry, let me just get that in focus because I realize it's not in focus. The fingerprint sensor there is actually lower, so it makes it much more easier for you to like put it on your hand. As opposed to this where you're, you see, can you see that? You're actually trying to do some uh, thumb uh, finger yoga there, you know, like trying to stretch your fingers there. So that's the problem you guys might have with this device. But that's just going to be needed for a quick hands-on for the first impression. I think this is the second time I'm seeing that. I feel it's a really good device for the price at 1,000 Malaysian Ringgit. I shall be converting it right now. And for the fingerprint sensor, it's a bit wonky, probably because of uh, how I'm shooting this very fast and not having enough time to look at it. For the camera, it's not looking so good, but perhaps when I do my full review, perhaps, perhaps it will change my mind. But the main fa uh, selling feature of this phone is a 6,300 mAh battery and since it's the largest there, there's no other phone in this market which actually competes with it. So 
that's something you guys should actually look at. For me, I don't know, I would say. I don't know. The OS is pretty old. I mean, not that old, but uh, it looks like it's a blatant copy of, uh, of uh, EMUI from Huawei. But let's just see how it goes. I've, never, I've not used it, so just take this with a grain of salt. But from my own first impressions, I would say nice device. Perhaps it looks like there's, there's some improvements that need to be made. But that's basically been it for my quick uh, hands-on and first impression of this video. So if this video seems kind of rushed or if it seems kind of imbalanced because I had to leave the entire event and come, you know, shoot here or at least try to come shoot in a quiet place and it's really, really difficult right now. So sorry for that, guys. And that's basically been it for this video, guys. You know what to do if you like this video. Give it a big fat thumbs up. If you do not like it, well, thumbs down and let me know what you feel down in the comment section below. And don't forget to remain awesome. I love you guys and I will see you guys next time. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye.